There we go. We good. We good. We live. We in the building. All right. So as you're coming in, of course, go ahead and drop down, you know, where you're tuning in from. We want to know what cities are representing. Uh, you know, today topic is just about tax returns, man. Like, like it's money season. It's tax season. People are getting their returns. People are wanting to go out and ball out of control. You know, your team was just looking scraggly and now your team going to be looking like y'all are dressed ready for the Oscars. OK, uh, speaking of the Oscars, we do have Nove National Convention coming up and we're going to be gracing the red carpet in a illustrious style man i can't wait i can't wait so if you're definitely one of my peoples in nove just go ahead and drop a money bag in the comment section so we can go ahead and represent okay y'all know it's your man jerry goins uh you know i'm crazy i do crazy things you know i go live but i'm really here to help bring knowledge to the people bring information to the people uh, and help you elevate these financial uh you know endeavors uh and i'm on your side you know so Today, I'm going to be telling you what the best thing to do, the number one thing to do with your tax return. But first, I needed you to go ahead and like this live right now so we can go ahead and start spreading this out. You know, the more people that see this, the more people get help. So go ahead and like this thing and comment where you are tuning in from. And, uh, and let's go ahead and get right on into it. So, you know, the first thing I want to go ahead and share with y'all are, you know, um, some information. We're going we're gonna to dive right into the news. OK, we're going to go right into the news. I'm going to share with you what is going on in the news so you can understand why, you know, it is so important that we go ahead and tackle some of the things that we are about to address right now. So uh, thank everybody for tapping on in. Thanks for liking the live. Thanks for sharing this thing on your page. Right. And uh, thanks for dropping in where you're tuning in from and all my Nove people dropping the money bags. I appreciate you. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right on into the news. So, you know, this is this right here is Reuters. We're looking at financial news. Today is uh, the 14th of January, you know, 2024. So happy new year. If I haven't been able to tell you that in person, you know, happy new year to y'all. Much blessings to everybody. Um, so what we're looking at right now, Wells Fargo warns of lower interest income 2024. Shares are dropping in Wells Fargo. What that means is that the bank isn't making a lot of his money through interest like it was in the previous uh, years. So when you see a bank that's making less money in interest, you know, that's a red flag. And then we have uh, Chase over here uh, flagging loan margins, one off charges, drag down profits, U.S. banks. So, you know, we have a lot of things happening at these U.S. banks. Uh, J.P. Morgan annual profit surges to a new record, even as quarterly net income dips. So remember that net income, that's all about making money off the interest. So how is how are they able to make a profit when their net income is going down well they, they, here's one of the big ways you look right here city to cut 20,000 jobs post 1.8 billion loss in disappointing quarters so these companies are laying off a lot of people and when you have the financial sector laying off people and especially in terms of like 20,000 17,000 uh you know that's that's a big red flag so you know it's really important to know what our banks are doing uh, in order to know what we're doing, because what the banks do, it trickles down into what we see. But this right here on Yahoo Finance, this right here really piqued my interest. It says this recession indicator hasn't been wrong in 58 years. Here's what it says happens next. Everybody's trying to figure out what's going on in the market. Everybody's trying to figure out what's going on in our economy, right? Well, we have an indicator here that hasn't been wrong since the 60s. OK, so what is it saying? It's basically using um, input from different data sites like the Fed rate, the difference in yield between the 10 year Treasury bond and the three month Treasury bill. Um, different things like that are going into this. And it's basically saying this right here. That the U.S. recession will in the next 12 months, we're going to see some things happening in terms of recession. Okay, so it's really, really important that we're looking at this and seeing what these yield curves mean, what the rates are indicating. All right. So all this data goes into this and you're just seeing, look, by 2024, the Fed is forecasting three rate cuts. 
So that's going to be good news for you. Okay, so that means that your interest rates are going to go down. That means that you're able to borrow money more cheaply. Right. That means that the mortgage rates that we're seeing right now, that's in the six and sevens. We're going to see them start to come down. All right. But uh, let's see what else we can pick up from this right here. All right. Look at this right here. So there have been 39 double digit percentage declines in the S&P 500 since the start of 1950. Every notable drop, save for 2022. Uh, bear market has been decisively wiped away by a bull market rally so all that's saying is guess what it looks like a recession <clears throat> but we about to make a dramatic comeback all right and so what do you need to do with your tax return to um, take advantage of this dramatic comeback well you got to dive in and take a look at your credit score y'all we have to get better credit Right, and I'm gonna show you how to use your tax return to increase your credit score. So, first thing we got to know is what all goes into that credit score. All right, so when we're looking at what goes into a credit score, let me see if I can zoom this in for y'all because I know sometimes my eyes be I gotta open them up like this, you know. All right, so what goes into a credit score? Number one is how often you pay your bills on time and how often you're late. This accounts for roughly 35% of your score. So what that is saying, y'all, is if we're going through an economic downturn and you're not having enough money to pay your bills, it's going to reflect on your credit score. So number one, make sure you're paying your bills. And most importantly, it's not just talking about all bills, right? It's not talking about paying your cell phone bill. It's not talking about paying your water bill, right? It's saying you have to pay those bills that appear on your credit report. For example, credit cards, uh, loans, car notes, mortgages. You want to pay those items that are appearing on your credit report, because if you start to miss payments there, then it's going to start to drag your score down. So if you're behind on payments, use that tax return to go ahead and catch up. Let's go ahead and be a month ahead. All right. So that way, you know, you're, you're not depending on this month's money to pay this month's bills. OK, so especially if you're behind by 30 days, use this tax return to catch up. Now, um, also how much you owe goes into it as well. All right. So also how many different debts and credit lines that you have right now It's talking about the mix of the different credit lines and things that you have. You, the length of your credit history is really important. And the number of times your credit score has been reported, um, your credit report has been pulled recently. So what you want to do in relation to your tax return, number one, let's go ahead and pay down what we owe. All right, let's lower that debt uh, to income ratio. Okay, so if you have maxed out credit cards, listen, <laughs> use that tax return and let's get it down. Let's get it down below 30%. Like if you have a $10,000 credit card, let's bring that, uh, uh, let's bring your credit card down to the 3000 range. Okay, if you have a thousand dollar credit card, let's bring it down to the three hundred dollar range. Okay, that's going to dramatically improve your credit score. Okay, now in terms of reporting, I mean, having your credit report pulled multiple times, we don't want to do that. Okay, so this tax season, you might be hit up with a bunch of offers. Okay, because you know, they're they trying to get this new money as well. All right, these credit card companies, they see you and they want to go ahead. They want to get some of this new money off of you um, and they want to, uh, you know, say, hey, look, you know, you've been approved for this card. You've been approved for that card and things like that because they know you, that you're in this spending mindset. You know, you got uh, car lots that are going to start advertising real, real heavy. All right. Uh, so you just want to be very wise with this. You don't want your credit score. Uh, your credit report pulled a bunch of times. So if you're going to go out car shopping, guess what? What I want y'all to do, I want y'all to go over to um, either my website or maybe the affiliate that's sharing this with you. Anybody that's a part of Nova, you want to go over to their website and just ask them, uh, just say, hey, look, I'm going to shop for an auto. Can I shop your auto loans? And let's go ahead and see what we can get you approved for without pulling your credit score. 
right? And that way you already know, hey, look, I can possibly get approved for a 30,000, a 40,000, a 20,000, or a 10,000, whatever the car is, we'll let you know what you get approved for and we'll send you to companies that are ready to approve you. All you gotta do is follow through. But that first step, the pre-qualification, does not affect your credit. What you don't wanna do is go down to that car lot, okay? You don't wanna go down to the car lot and let them try to find the money for you because they're gonna be calling everybody that they know that got money and they're gonna be pulling your score. Everybody, else, go ahead and put a, a number of five in the comment section or just raise your hand if you've ever been to the car lot and by the time you got home, man, you checked your, your uh, credit report or you, you got these credit alerts saying this person pulled it, that person pulled it, this person pulled it. Next thing you know, you got seven, eight, ten, um, you know, hits on your credit report and maybe you didn't even get the car. <laughs> you know, so that brings your score down. It brings your score down three to five points every time that uh, someone pulls your credit. OK, so you definitely want to be aware of that. All right, let me see. Let me see what my people are doing in the comment section down here. Thanks, K KG, for tapping in from Phoenix AZ. That's what I'm talking about. All right, who else we got in the building? Let us know. Let us know. Make sure you like, comment, share. So Facebook, go ahead and picks this up. If this is good information, if I'm lying, then just get off the live, right? But if I'm sharing something good, go ahead and show some support. You know, send me the stars, all that good stuff, right? So let's look at this credit card calculator because this is another big thing to help you out with your credit and, and how we know because look, let's look up here in this credit, uh, this credit score simulator. The first few questions it's asking about is a credit card. It's like, how um, have you had a credit card or a loan in the last six months? How many years ago did you get your first credit card? You know, credit card shows up right here. How many times have you applied for credit in the last few uh, in the last year? Okay, so this right here is telling you how important credit cards are in determining your credit score. So this right here is at calculator.net, this is a credit card calculator. All right, so this, this right here, let's just say, I just threw in the number 13,000. Okay, so if you have 13,000 on this credit card and you know, you've know you maxed this bad boy out and your payments are 2% of that balance, meaning that you're paying $260 a month, which is really, really low. I mean, you have to have a really good credit score to get something like that, right? Um, but let's go ahead and calculate what this would be. Um, well, it's already calculated, it's right here. It'll take you seven years and 10 months to pay off this balance at $260 per month. You just paid $11,000 in interest. <laughs> that's, just, that's just crazy to me because your balance was 13,000, which means that you borrowed 13,000 from the credit card company and you're making this $260 payment every month and you end up paying almost what you borrowed in just interest alone. That's scary. That's scary to me, right? So let's see, what if you're, What would it be if you were charged just 1% of your balance, the interest plus 1% of your balance? 325, okay, so you're paying more on this balance, so it's gonna come down a lot faster. Okay, so 7,000, but still, like, who wants to pay all this money? Who wants to do that? Nobody. Somebody put nobody in the comment section. Nobody wants to pay almost what they borrowed just in interest. What we're doing is we're making the bankers rich. We're making these other people, these financial institutions rich, right? And we see what they're doing with the jobs. They're, they're laying people off just to, you know, look at this. Head, cop, uh, head count dropping by 20,000, right? So they're not really looking out for our people, right? We're just making them rich for no reason. So we have a solution for you as well. So I want you to, um, you know, get with the closest Nove affiliate and just say uh, debt help. Just say debt help and watch what they do for you. We're going to be able to cut this credit card debt in half. So instead of on, you know, 13,000, let's say you had a 20,000 card, instead of having a $20,000 card, you would only owe 10,000 on it and we would cut that payment in half. And then in six months, we would pay it off. All right, so ask about debt help. Ask me or the Nobe affiliate sending you this or sharing this for help there. But let's talk more about these credit builders. So let me give you some free credit builders that you can also use. All right, so here's some free credit builders that you can tap into. All right, you can go to goingsfinancial.com slash build. 
and you can see exactly what I'm talking about right here. The credit AI card, they're going to give you a $1,500 trade line with Equifax. You know, you can use my referral code if you want to, but it's cool. It's a metal card. Uh, I'm not sure they're still giving out metal cards, but when I was, when I got it, it was a metal card. Now then you got the X1 card. You know, this right here is pretty cool because it doesn't use 100% of your credit to determine if you're eligible for it or not. So if you have a low credit score, but you have decent income, you could probably get this X1 card. Um, Vero, very slept on bank, Vero. You, know, you definitely want to tap in right here. You want to direct deposit at least $1,000 a month into the uh, checking account here, and they'll give you something called the Believe card. This Believe card is awesome because it's like a secured credit card. All right. So with that secured credit card is really good because it allows you to now uh, start reporting to the credit bureaus. Right now, you're reporting these payments to the credit bureaus, but you're not going in debt doing so. How awesome is that? How awesome is that? So self credit strong. These are some other things that cost a little bit of money, but they're going to put the money right back in your pocket. So I really like these because it's like a savings account that you're spending money on every month, but at the end of the term, you get the money back, okay? And it doesn't hurt your credit to uh, engage in these services, and guess what? You're going to get your money back, and it's reporting to the credit bureaus, which is really, really cool. Uh, we also have a credit builder card, so this is another secured card that you can get, and it's going to report positive payments to the bureaus. That's what we want. We want positive payments, all right? So we have a lot of things that you can check out here, but let's get on into the tax services, all right? So I want to play this quick testimonial from one of um, my uh, teammates' tax clients, okay? So shout out to Marquis in the building, all right? But let's, let's just take a look at this very quick video that he just shot here with one of his tax clients, all right? Um, so I've been working since about 2019. I filed for my taxes a couple of times. Um, haven't got any return one time. And it was nearly not as much as I got from wow. taxable. Wow. So um, let me tell you about the experience that I've had with uh, TurboTax versus taxable. Uh, with TurboTax, I felt like I was a little bit rushed during the process. And then... I felt like I needed to have a whole lot of kids in order to even get something back, you know, and it was just really much a struggle to even get anything back from TurboTax at all. Um, and then with taxables, you guys, now let me tell you about them. What? Global Access Funds introduced me to taxables, and I was able to be handled in a professional manner. I was able to be handled very swiftly and very kindly, guys. The customer service was on a thousand. I would recommend Taxable to everybody. I'm actually sending out the link to a lot of people now um, to get. So we've partnered up with a company called Taxable. You know, they're tax professionals, y'all, not just tax preparers. Okay, so they really have a heart. For the people it's kind of like robin hood right except for we're not stealing but we want to give and make sure that everybody's able to uh, get the maximum return back right so you know here's just a quick testimonial in here from some of our tax uh peeps right some of our clients are already coming on in last year hey listen no way it's the truth all right and look at this one right here this this lady says um um, you know, it was definitely more than I would have gotten if I filed on my own. And then it says here, word, how did you figure out, how would, how did you figure that it would have been more? Did you already do your own estimate? And then you'll get your vacation voucher with your return because we're also giving out vacation vouchers. Okay. With your return. And so this lady says, yes, right before you messaged me, I had already started filing through TurboTax and owed federally so she was about to pay money on top of paying to get her taxes done through turbo tax right but the lady assured the lady that assisted me explained everything and wasn't considering that i wasn't considering as a write-off and helped me increase my return 
So think about that. Like, when was the last time that you went to file your taxes and the tax preparer was scouring through all the eligible deductions and seeing if you qualified for them? Right. They just want to rush. Usually they just want to rush you through and get on to the next person. But we know that if we can give you a really great experience and get you the maximum return, that that's going to be repeat business next year. All right. So we're not looking for let's just get you in and out of the door. We want to get you on here to be a lifetime customer. And I know you're probably saying, Jerry, what's going on with these screenshots? That don't make no difference. You probably typed it yourself and sent it to yourself, right? Uh, shout out to Priscilla on the, in, in the building. Go ahead, drop a money bag because you with the Nove train. Well, look, y'all, we can actually go to the Better Business Bureau website for Nove. You know, so they have different things set up to where, you know, you, you can't send reviews through the same IP and you know they have all kinds of things to make sure that these gen these are genuine reviews and here is some Nove and taxable five star reviews that we have received you know just some highlights here it says uh, they really helped me figure my taxes out for my business with ease okay so if you're a business owner definitely tap in with us all right uh, it says thank you for referring me to Nove. They really helped me file my taxes, and I got them back pretty fast. Definitely recommend them. Uh, this lady right here says I was very stressed about get uh, getting my spouse and I's taxes done. I was discouraged, and I just didn't want to deal with the process. Needless to say, I was overreacting. <laughs> um, excellent Nove representative kept encouraging me to file. The process went great. I was able to file current and previous year and see an unexpected return. Listen, we, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Why why aren't you filing through us? Like we're even able to go in through last year and help somebody get more money back from last year's return. That's crazy to me that you would go anywhere else after seeing all these people give positive re reviews about this tax company here. Okay, so it's no bay and taxable. If you want that link, just scream at your local no bay affiliate. Let them know I'm trying to get my taxes done through y'all. Okay, and we will definitely help you get that done. So hopefully you've been uh, you know able to get some information about how to um, uh, improve your credit with your tax return. Okay, so if you're able to improve your credit with your tax return. These are some important ways to do it, but you got to get your get your taxes back first before you can do that. OK, so. Thought being said, y'all. How at you, boy. Let's get your credit better. Let's get your taxes back. Let's get you on the road to financial well-being. And with that, we out of here. Peace out. Thanks for tapping in. See you next time.